Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a uh, early morning vlog. It's uh, seven forty-seven here in the morning at my place right now on a Wednesday, and uh, I just wanted to sit down and make a short little vlog to rant and rave and grumble a little bit about a couple of things that are on my mind right now. We're going to start with the freshest of the two. I just got done taking my daughter to school. Um, I used to take my daughter to school uh, every Monday through Thursday. And now it's just Wednesday and Thursday because uh, I got my early shifts at work back. So uh, my ex-in-laws take care of getting my daughter to school uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. Anyway, she's in second grade now and second grade's getting ready to wind down. So we're, we're talking three years of uh, school at this particular school where she's at and then there was you know uh, daycare and, and uh, preschool before that it's been several years of, of doing this every day uh, of which I have no problem like because right now I'm just a couple blocks away from the school it's it's five minutes to get her up there and get back home that's not the uh, the issue at hand here the issue at hand I have this wonderful glare coming from over here apparently um, the issue at hand here is other parents who are driving their kids to school and dropping them off that don't seem to know how to drive. Now I I could probably do a series of road rage type videos about the idiocy I witness on the road every day every single day and I know it's the same everywhere you're not gonna get away from it no matter where you live but it doesn't change the fact that you have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, out on the road is one thing, but when it comes to dropping kids off at school, people should really keep their moronic inability to drive in check. Because there's kids everywhere. Kids walking, kids biking, kids getting in and out of vehicles. And... It's probably not this way at every school, but at my daughter's school, it's right in the middle of a residential area. You know, we're, we're just, it's just a bunch of roads with a bunch of houses, and then, boop, right in the middle of it all is a school. There's little to no parking, and right now they're building a storm shelter slash auditorium kind of uh, building into the place. So the parking lot that I used to park in when I would go pick her up is very hard to access now so I have to uh, park like a block or two away when I pick her up but to drop her off I just drive up back of the school there's an entrance that goes right into where her uh, trailers the, the trailers where her classes are um, add-ons from a couple years back when the tornado happened and more kids were in the, the schools that were still around but it's really easy for me to be able to drop her off but there's a bunch of other people dropping off at the back side of the school and they don't drive the speed limit I mean like they just don't observe there's so many people that do not observe the reduced speed limit around the school uh, and it just pisses me off so much uh, and I I think I've figured out why they don't observe it you know school starts at a quarter to eight how many people go to work at eight so how many of these people are getting up and doing their whole routine of getting themselves ready, their kid or kids ready, and then they beat feet out the door to try to get there as fast as possible so that they're not late for work? I'm like, your options are pretty simple. Be late for work and try not to run over somebody else's kids. Ref you know, afford them some respect as they're affording you. Or... Get up a little earlier. Get your shit together a little earlier and get them there. You know, you can drop the kids off as much as 15 minutes early. That would give you a half an hour to get to your precious job. I mean, I've had some days where I was on my way straight to work right after I dropped my daughter off. But as my friends and coworkers at work would tell anybody, uh, I'm not a pioneer in terms of getting to work on time. And at Walmart... They have a very liberal policy where you have up to 15 minutes after your scheduled shift is supposed to start to actually be clocked in before you're considered tardy. You know, it's not right to abuse that. It's not right to, to say, hey, I can just show up whenever I want to. But I'm not going to kill somebody or get myself killed. I'm not going to hurt somebody else's kids or my own to get to work on time. I just wish that other people would figure that out. Have the foresight 
to to think about that because it's there's a couple of the intersections right around the school are unmarked i don't know why they do that every other road as you go up the hill from my house to the school has got uh, stop signs or yield signs for the one direction so the people going this way can go the people going this way have to wait i mean it's better than nothing you get to the couple of the corners by the school, there's nothing, there's no markings. I don't understand why they do that. But as drivers, as adults, we have to take some responsibility and try to treat those. I treat them as four-way stops. I pull up there and I, like I was taught in driver's ed, the person on the right has the right away. So if there's somebody coming from the right or from the left, I let them go before I go out. I mean, you got to do something. You can't just blindly blast through intersections right next to a school with all these kids and stuff. I'm surprised there haven't been more accidents, or if there have been, I haven't heard anything about them. It scares the crap out of me, though. Every day, I'm just like, you know, what's going to happen? And then I drop off at a certain place in the back. There's another back door into the main part of the school where a lot of people drop off. When I dropped off my daughter there, I pull out. Sometimes I sit there behind the three or four cars that are in front of me uh, and just kind of wait for them to drop off and move before I go because if there's traffic coming the other direction, I'm not going to go anywhere anyway. But sometimes if I see that there's no traffic, I will go around. I don't gun it, but I go around. The people who are dropping off should be able to look out their left-hand side like rearview mirror over here and see if there's somebody coming up and let them go by. Just have some respect. Most of the time it doesn't happen. They just take off. Anyway, that's, that's all I really want to say about that. I just really think it's a debacle what they have done around that school, but not only the unmarked intersections and things like that and the cramped conditions anyway, but the people don't seem to adapt and, and respect other people and think about the safety of everybody involved, especially the kids. The other thing I wanted to talk about was something that my dad said the other day, so I'm going to have to uh, take off the cap for this one. Once again, show off my beautiful chrome dome. But uh, I thought it was really weird when my dad was here the day that he left on Sunday. He looked at me, and I had just like shaved, shaved my head down, which is what I do. It, it grows out just a, a little bit, and then I go get it with the razor and just shave it back down to this because I'm bald you know this this up here no hair anymore it's gone hair might grow up to about here and around to the back but I don't like that look it's like I either want long hair like I used to have I used to have hair that at least came down to about my shoulders when I was in my early 20s um, and I guess I could tell the story really quick of why I cut the long hair off. I moved here to Joplin in 1999, and at the behest of my father, who said it's a different world down here than it is up in Montana, uh, people who, you know, you might, prospective employers, uh, they're not going to like that hair, that hippie look, that mountain man look. So cut your hair, get a good job, get in some place, and then grow it out, and just let it naturally happen. Well, when I cut off all the hair, that was when it really exposed the fact that it was thinning up here, and it just never quite grew back in the same. Uh, I did, up until when I got married in 2002, have short hair, and it still kind of came in up top, but somewhere that year or two after I got married, a uh, relative of my ex-wife uh, said, hey, Ev, why don't you just shave off all your hair and stuff and I was like hmm I'm kind of thinking about it that might not be a bad thing to do especially because of how how warm it gets here it's 70 degrees right now at 8 in the morning it's going to be almost 90 today um, you know cutting the hair off it, it helps sure I've got the beard going on right now facial hair has just been a, a, a very interesting journey for me all my life I might talk about that some other time but as far as this is concerned, this is the way I like my hair now because of the weather and uh, because as far as I'm concerned, this is a decent look for me. If I try to grow this hair, okay, this is what why I was getting to this uh, part of the video. My dad said, why don't you grow your hair out? Look like you're 40. I'm not actually 40 yet, but I will be this year. He's like, look like you're 40. 
That way, if you met someone, if you met a lady and stuff, she would look at you and think of you as, as the age that you are. And then if she, you know, if things got, uh, what would you call it? If things got uh, really good and promising in, in the relationship, you know, she'll probably love and accept all of this kind of stuff because that's the cool and hip thing that people do these days. Which I guess in a way it kind of is because the people who were gamers in the 80s and 90s are now adults, but they're carrying on with this kind of stuff. But his thinking that I should grow my hair out, which if I did, I would start off looking like, I don't know, Bob Newhart. Maybe that's a dated reference for most. Uh, I grew it out longer. Eventually I'm going to start to look like Hulk Hogan, and uh, which is not a good look for me. Uh, and then if I were to grow it out even longer, and due to the fact that my hair is really thinned and uh, what's it, split ends, all that kind of stuff, and this humidity around here, I would eventually start to look like a clown, like Bozo the Clown or something. I don't want that. Like I said earlier, if I can't have the long hair that I used to have, and if I find a picture or something sometime, I might share it here, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what I used to have but if I can't have that long hair, I don't want hair at all. I can't afford to try the Bosley thing and get the get the uh, hairs transplanted from down here to up there. Can't afford to do that. What I can afford to do is shave it like this, and uh, and I don't care. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it looks like I have absolutely no creativity, no personality. I don't care if it looks like I'm doing something that's trendy with people my age these days. Uh, I don't care if it looks like I'm a biker. I don't care if it looks like I'm a tattoo guy. I, I don't care what it looks like. I look at myself in the mirror, in this camera. You know, I'm not beautiful or anything, but I like the way that I look. I can live with this. And my dad thinking, trying to tell me that it's going to make me more likely to have a relationship, to make me more respectable looking in somebody else's eyes. I don't care what I look like in someone else's eyes. I care about what I look like when I look in the mirror. So, I don't know, like I said, just some grumblings about things that were on my mind. I like the way that my hair looks now when I'm at work. It's fine for me. I try to keep this trimmed and, and, and looking fine. And then when I'm out and about in public, the hat goes on, representing for my Cardinals, uh, hiding the baldness, sure, yeah. I mean, because I'm not enthused about the fact that I'm bald. But I'm not going to grow the other hair around it. That's that's how my dad is. My dad's been bald since he was young, probably in his late teens, early 20s. He has this kind of a hairstyle, but he grows it out a little bit. Looks fine on him. That's all I've ever known him to look like. So I'm used to that. And this is what I'm used to for me, so... Anyway, guys, that's about it. I uh, wasn't expecting the video to go maybe this long, so I'm going to uh, maybe sit down and make some of my other videos today. If I don't get interrupted, I've been told that there's another project incoming. That ceiling fan right there hasn't worked for a while because my daughter inadvertently broke it. And uh, when the window project was going on the other day, the landlady must have flipped the switch. and She said, oh... I'll have somebody come fix that. They were supposed to be here yesterday morning. They didn't show up. They'll probably be here today while I'm trying to kick back and relax. Such is life, though. Take care, guys.